Alright, come on out. Meet me out in front of the car. Why? Why do you want me to meet you in front of the car? What's that? Why do you want me to meet you in front of the car? Because I said get out of the car and come up here. Now. What is the reason? What is the reason? Because I'm going to check you for impairment. You've been drinking, you're under the influence of any drugs, we're going to check. Come on out. What is your name and badge number? Trooper Shaw, 1741. This is the last time I'm going to tell you to get out of this car. Is this a lawful order? Yeah, it is a direct lawful order. What is the law? What law did I, I break? All right. You want to go this route? What, what law did I break? Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Peter Kuryako. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. If you have not subscribed to his YouTube channel, please make sure you go and do so. Today we're going to take a look at the Kentucky State Police and a field training officer training his trainee completely the wrong way. We're going to start off by seeing where this Kentucky State Police officer demands a driver to get out of the vehicle, which is lawful if he's in fear of his safety. But the problem is he's demanding a driver to exit the vehicle so that he can perform field sobriety tests. So many people have fallen victim to this deceptive trick that the police pull. They make you feel that you have to take a field sobriety test, give you the belief or the understanding that it's a pass or fail test, make you believe that you can pass it when in reality, you actually passing the test will never happen. Why do I say that? Because field sobriety tests are not pass or fail. Nor do you have to take a field sobriety test if you choose not to. So you may ask, if the field sobriety test is not pass or fail, then why do police want you to take it? It's simply a test to collect evidence. That's it. It's simply a test to collect evidence. So the fact is, you will never pass, but you most certainly will fail. By no means am I encouraging anyone to drink and drive. We all need to be responsible and held accountable for our own actions. But the fact is this, a lot of people have gone to jail for DUI who never had a drink. For example, a diabetic related emergency could mimic a DUI. And now you find yourself behind bars simply because you were having a medical emergency. So remember the next time a police officer tells you, hey, come take this field sobriety test, you do not have to take it. I will say this, certain states, I'll use Georgia as an example. If you refuse to take a field sobriety test in the state of Georgia, you are agreeing to the fact that your license will be suspended. But here's the bright side of it. There is no evidence of DUI at trial. I just want to make sure you understand both sides. Don't feel pressured as if you have to take a field sobriety test because you will not pass. It's only designed to collect evidence against you. So if you're stopped and a police officer demands you take a field sobriety test, remember you have options. And if you choose not to take it, get a good attorney because it's better to have a temporarily suspended license than a blemish on your record that will follow you for years to come. Forcing you and making you believe that you have to take a DUI test is one of many tricks that the police pull. Stay tuned to the end of the video so you can be sure to get my ebook that's going to teach you the trick that police pull to get you to give up your rights. Let's check out this video. All right, let's go tell April. All right, come on out. Meet me out in front of the car. Why? Why do you want me to meet you in front of the car? What's that? Why do you want me to meet you in front of the car? Because I said get out of the car and come up here. Now. What is the reason? What is the reason? Because I'm going to check you for impairment. You've been drinking, you're under the influence of any drugs, we're going to check. Come on out. What is your name and badge number? Trooper Shaw, 1741. This is the last time I'm going to tell you to get out of this car. Is this a lawful order? Yeah, it is a direct lawful order. What is the law? What law did I, I break? All right. You want to go this route? What, what law I'm did I break? Out. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Car. Don't touch me. Where the car? You never say why you pull me over. You never say why you pull me over. Because you almost hit the rear end of a semi truck. That's not true. I'm not. You're lying to me. Okay. I'm not. And we got cameras. So. So is it against the law to hit almost hit somebody? Yes. It what is. What is against the law? Hey. What, what law is? I have. I had an obstacle on the road. Falling too close. Forty-five, eleven point thirty-four. No, this is not right. It is right. You're lying to me. All right. Now. Take your glasses off. Do you have any medical conditions? I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay. Now, if you're not going to answer any questions, do you want to do any field sobriety tests? Negative. 
Negative? Negative. All right, why is that? I'm not answering the question. What's that? I'm not answering questions. Not answering any questions. Yeah. So we're not going to go through any tests and make sure that you're okay to actually drive on the roadway and you're not endangering yourself or anyone else on the road. Is that what you're saying? I'm not going to answer any question. I didn't say anything. Okay. All right. You got all his info. All right, go back and start on his ticket. Follow the closing proclamation. Here's all your address and everything current on your driver's license registration. That's a question you got to answer. No, I don't have to. Okay. Don't violate my rights. Don't tell what me what What rights I am I violating? This is a question. Yeah. It is a question. I'm asking you a question. Is I'm everything not... current, which is a state law, to have your driver's license, the address of your driver's we'll find license? Out. I'm asking. I don't know where you live right now. You don't have to know. Again, we can go down this road. All right? Is your address on your driver's license current? I told you I don't want to have to answer any questions. Okay. That's a state law. You understand that, right? Correct? All right. Lift your glasses up for me. Why? Because I told you to. Whoa, whoa, what law is this? I, I got to do the best I can to check to see if you're impaired. All right? No, I'm not. All right. Take your sunglasses off. Is this a law? Yes. So let's be clear. Following too closely is a law. Okay, you can be pulled over for that. But when you hand the police officer your driver's license and he asks you, hey, is this a current address? You do not have to answer that question. You do not have to assist him in his investigation. Next, we see the driver declines to take a field sobriety test. I think the state trooper was a little bit in shock that the driver knew that he did not have to take a field sobriety test. But even with that said, a few seconds later, he tells him to lift up his sunglasses. I need to look at your eyes and that's a law and you have to do so. The state trooper flat out lied. It is not a law and you do not have to assist police in their investigations. Lastly, I say this on a lot of my videos, most police have no clue what a lawful order is. They believe if I say so, then it's a lawful order and you must obey it. But the fact of the matter is this, you are a law enforcement officer, which means you are supposed to enforce the law. And the only order that a police officer can give that is lawful is one that is telling you to obey a law. That is a lawful order. That is it. I am giving you an order. But you can give me order to cut the grass here. Do I have to do it? That's not a reasonable I don't request. care. I don't care. You're harassing me. Stop harassment. This is not harassment. And stay six feet away from me. It's a, it's a COVID. No. I I'm scared of you. Right here. Don't tell me I'm not your dog to tell me what right here. Right here. I'm not your dog. Turn around. Not your dog to tell me. Sit. Take your sunglasses off. For Why? Because I need to look at your eyes. No, you don't have to look at my eyes. Take your sunglasses off. No, I'm not going to take my sunglasses off. I have a... My eye hurts. Your eye hurts? Yeah. From what? It's not your problem. Okay. Do you need a squad? No, don't worry about you it. Don't I don't need medical assistance. I don't need anything. I just don't need you to harass me. How am I harassing you? Stay six feet away from me. Nothing. What crime you suspect me committing? Traffic violation. Follow this is not a crime. It is. A this crime. is not a crime. Then test this in court. By this is not a crime. You Maybe cannot all the court information that you need. To get this is not a care. crime. I'm scared of you. Stay away from me. Oh, keep your hands out of your pocket. So is there a law that say I have to keep my hands out of the pocket? Yeah. What law is this? Now the two options are you either keep your hands out of your pockets or I'm gonna pat you down, make sure you don't have any. No, I don't wanna to be touched. Then keep your hands out of your pocket. And I don't want my car to be touched as well. No, sir. I don't want any consent. I'm not giving right, any consent. Keep your hands out of your pockets. 
You are alive, by the way. I what? You are alive. I'm. You are alive. What? What's that mean? Live on Facebook. Everybody's watching you. Okay. Your harassment. Okay. You almost struck the rear end of a semi. -truck. No, that's not true. And we stopped you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, take your camera. Okay. I'm gonna take your body camera and I'm gonna take your camera dash camera, okay? Yes, sir. This is a public record. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? What is your name and badge number? Uh, Tommy Howard. Are you supervisor? Yeah. yeah. This guy, he detained me. He, without particular, he didn't say why he'd been detained. He didn't say any crime I have committed. Yeah, it looks like you're getting a citation. Okay, is this a crime? Yes. This is not a crime. It's and he's been threatening to arrest me because I put my hands in my pocket. Yeah. yeah. You well, we, we want to provide for our own safety, so... Okay, am I looking safe? Yeah, we, we don't know. We don't know you, sir. So okay. He's, he's, he's been a real piece of shit and I want to go to your comp the department to, to make a complaint. Okay. Because he's been a real crap okay. and I'm going to get the camera of the vehicle and I'm going to get his camera. Like you're going to be issued a citation. Okay, so why I have to be detained? If you your citation, then you can go. Well, you don't have to detain me for this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a traffic violation. It is. So traffic violation is not a crime. Anybody can be tra traffic violation. Until we're done with the traffic stop, we'll be detained. Once we're done with the traffic stop, we'll be detained. And he, this crap, he tells me to, I, I'm going to, he wants to arrest me. Don't look at me like this. Well, look at you like what? Tyrant. Staying close to me like half a feet here. Why you look me like this? Like a what, sir? Being stupid in front of your surgeon here. How's that? Well, I told him already. Okay. And how many times have I told you to keep your hands out of your pocket? Why you have to keep my hands on What's that? Why don't you keep your hands away from you? What is your department? What city you are? Yeah, but what's, where is your uh, head office? In what cities? Mansfield or Lexington? Which one? Okay. All right. And you are a sergeant. I just want to let you know that he is a real piece of trash, you know, this guy. This guy. Again, do not be deceived by police and their tricks. You can catch the entire video by clicking the link below in the description section. Make sure you know your rights. Police will lie to you and they will try and trick you out of your rights. So you must make sure you know your rights when you encounter them. Make sure you know your rights so when you're having a police encounter, you're in charge and not them. With that being said, we the People University, signing off.